picture it. I was minding my own business. It was 1992. Actually, who even says that? Hey, this is Jonathan Van Ness, and this is my passion project. I am a hairdresser of 15 years, then I became a host on Netflix's Queer Eye, so I am a little baby host there. And then before that, you know, I had a podcast called Getting Curious, and now it is being turned into its own series, streaming now on Netflix. So a lot of people may know me as a lovable hairstylist from TV or maybe a podcaster, but what you may not know is that I am a figure skating fanatic. My initial passion for figure skating came, picture it. I was minding my own business. It was 1991, I was four, and I was watching Tanya Harding win her first US national championship, honey. She went on to win worlds that year. She nailed her triple axel. She said, not today, Christy Yamaguchi, not today, Nancy Kerrigan. I've never been the same. Figure skating combines so many of the things that I'm obsessed with. Amazing hair, gorgeous outfits, grace, athleticism, artistry, drama, pizzazz. It combines so many worlds that I'm obsessed with. It's just amazing. I feel like my favorite figure skating move is, I love an Ina Bauer. It kind of looks like Warrior Two, but on the ice. I love like a single foot spin. I also love like steps and like footwork because I can do it. Okay, first of all, let's get one thing straight. Jonathan Van Ness, the three-time Olympic gold medalist, wears. So in my first Olympics, it was a peacock. I was giving you full peacock colors, turtleneck, unitard, covered in peacock feathers. So I wore white boots to challenge the gender binary norms. The ISU was really like, oh my God, I can't believe that they're wearing white boots. And I said, yeah. I am. So that was my first gold medal and it was really special. And then of course in Vancouver, I wanted to like wow the Canadians. So then I wore like a red and white outfit. It was like faux suede. <laughs> in Sochi, I actually wore a version of Michelle Kwan's Nagano outfit, which is this like light blue velvet Vera Wang. And I wore that in no skirt. It was really pretty. So I was 19 when I won in Torino and my best friend Michelle had to pull out because she had a groin injury. And I was like, Michelle, no! And she was like, Jonathan, I have to listen to my body. And I was like, ah! And then I beat Yevgeny Plushenko. I said, sit down, Yevgeny, it's not your turn. Then I would have come back. Then I would have done the same thing to Evan Lysacek. And then I said, sorry, Evan, I'm defending my gold medal, honey. And then in 2014, I probably would have been like, sorry, Yuzuru, I'm gonna do what you are doing in the real world. You know, he's going to defend his gold medal, you know, for what will be the third time in the real world. But in this world, I mean, I went over there to Russia and was like, sorry, everyone, I'm here to slay. I did retire for Pyeongchang. So now I'm a commentator with my other besties, Tara Lipinski and Johnny. We are reporting live from NBC Studios. Okay, so figure skating 101. You gotta find a figure skating rink. And then what I learned is, is that there's like public sessions and freestyle sessions. Public sessions, you can like rent figure skates, but if it's a freestyle session, you gotta like have your own figure skates. So finding that is important. And then like when you're first starting, you don't need like the really expensive ones. You just need ones that are temporary. You don't really need the like hardcore ones until you're doing like double jumps. And if you can save up for like a private lesson or two, cause it's a lot to learn without a coach. And then you just gotta get over the anxiety of going to a new place and doing a new thing. It is graceful, but it's also tough. You gotta be like really tough cause it is scary and you gotta be like fearless. And it's a lot harder than it looks. Figure skating and entertainment and hair, they all take a lot of passion. They all take a lot of dedication. They take a lot of consistency, so much coordination. You just have to keep going. And I think that they all take a lot of resilience. I think they're a lot more similar than people think, which is why they weave their ways through like hair and entertainment in my life. Cause I do Michelle Kwan's hair and I have an episode in Getting Curious about figure skating. So it's like everywhere, figure skating. I hope you have a chance to check out my new show, Getting Curious with Jonathan Van Ness, streaming now on Netflix. And if you have a little bit more time, make sure to check out Queer Eye, the latest season, season six, also streaming now on Netflix. Thank you so much, Parade, for having me. And do not forget to subscribe for more passion projects.